let's go back to light for a minute. Yeah. So I've got some friends who are so fanatical about the importance of light that they never wear sunglasses. Um, now, I and I and I'm I'm kind of there's a part of me that thinks light is wow it's got to be really important. I I think about you know all the time I get outside in the light it's great right. it's great. But I also like wearing sunglasses because mm -hmm. there's a part of me that's sort of afraid that mm -hmm. too much UV light is damaging. So what's the balance of of sunglasses versus not? And we, I want to talk about polarized glasses. Are they right. do they matter and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean clearly there's a dose related phenomenon here. You know, too much light is bad. Too little light is bad. What's the right amount? I tend to recommend sunglasses for our patients. Um, let's start with just the most obvious one. The most common site of skin cancer, the lower lid, lots of basal cell, squamous cell carcinomas, sunglasses certainly reduce the incidence of that. Uh, then we look at the photo aging of the lens itself. I think it's not a bad thing to delay the onset of cataract. Um, and then the retina, macular degeneration. I think there's pretty cl clear evidence that UV exposure particularly of the magnitude that you can get outside uh, is associated with an elevated risk of age-related macular degeneration. Now, do we see this in hunter-gatherers who have otherwise amazing habits and therefore tend to be relatively privileged from uh, uh, optical yeah, pathology? So, so the confounding variable there is that um, Northern European ancestry is a risk factor for macular degeneration, probably because of the lack of pigment. Mm. because that pigment is protecting that very vulnerable uh, vascularized component of the back of the eye. Oh, wait. So the darker your eye, the more protected you are? Absolutely. In the same way that your skin is more protected Got or it. more melanin. So light-eyed patients have more light getting in from the front of the eye. and So their iris literally blocks less light hitting the lens. Yes. And their, the, the retina has less pigment behind it. And mm. so the vascular supply to the retina is more exposed to UV light. And that's the way it's evolved because they've been in environments that don't have as much light available. Um, but if you live near the equator or your ancestry is from that area, then you're going to have more pigment um, and from an evolutionary standpoint. But um, I understand the fanaticism about wanting to have lots of blue light or you know, bright light, but I think that it probably is fanaticism. I, d I don't think that, uh, you know, at least if your goal is to reproduce, teach your children until they're 15 and then die, then get all the light you want. But if your goal is longevity or the, the postponement of senescence, certainly ocular senescence, I think it makes sense to protect your eyes from UV light. So for example, like let's, so you, you came over here today where it's middle of the day in Austin. It's yeah. a typical Austin, beautiful, sunny day. You're driving with sunglasses? Oh, for sure. Over? Absolutely. hundred percent. Okay. So you, you're in sunglasses when you're outside. I am. After what time in the morning? If I'm outside and the, and my vision is better with sunglasses or, you know, it's not worse with sunglasses than I'm going to wear sunglasses. I don't wear them at night and I don't wear them, you know, if it's very early in the morning, but if, if, if conditions allow, I'm going to wear them. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor-patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies.